Hey guys, this is Ethan from Microchip Technology. I have another video for you today discussing the analog peripherals that can be found on the PIC-18 Q71 family of microcontrollers. Developing analog specific applications can pose challenges to developers as they must find discrete components that can perform analog measurements needed for their application, whether it be amplifying an analog signal or having it converted into a digital signal to be read by a dedicated microcontroller. The PIC-18 Q71 family of microcontrollers alleviates this dilemma by offering many integrated analog peripherals that allow you to interface, read, respond to, and generate analog signals. By interconnecting analog peripherals with one another, or to other peripherals integrated onto the device, the code needed to interact with these analog signals can be minimized, all while improving system responsiveness. The PIC-18 Q71 has a broad portfolio of on-chip analog peripherals suitable for various sensor applications. Now, let's go through the main analog peripherals that are populated on the PIC-18 Q71 family of microcontrollers. A 12-bit differential analog to digital converter with computation and context switching is available on the PIC-18 Q71 family of microcontrollers, which allows you to do conversions of both single-ended and differential analog input signals into a 12-bit binary representation of that signal. The differential portion of the ADC allows for the ADC to measure the voltage difference between two user-defined inputs, allowing users to focus on the voltage range within the I.O. limits they are interested in, as opposed to a single-ended ADC where you are measuring the signal voltage with respect to ground and a fixed voltage reference. The computation feature allows the ADC to perform various post-conversion computations on its results, such as averaging, filtering, window comparisons, and accumulation. This reduces code size by leveraging the hardware inside of the ADC. Context switching allows users to easily interface with multiple sensor nodes by allowing the user to save up to four unique hardware configurations for the ADC, allowing for dedicated individual computations for each context. Whenever a specific context is selected, the conversion occurs with that context's configuration applied. Two operational amplifiers or op amps are integrated into the PIC-18 Q71 family of microcontrollers. Op amps are frequently used to buffer or amplify signals from sensors, current shunts, and resistive dividers. The op amp peripheral is commonly implemented in three modes, non-inverting amplifier, inverting amplifier, and unity gain. The op amp peripheral can be integrated with the ADC to condition or amplify a signal before measurement. In addition, the op amp also provides internal connections to the digital to analog converters as well, in the case of discrete signals needed to be converted to continuous signals before being handled by the op amp. A resistor ladder is integrated into the microcontroller to enable the op amp to function as a programmable gain amplifier. By integrating the op amp and resistor ladder onto the chip, not only does this reduce external hardware requirements, but the gain is easily configurable and allows you to dynamically change the gain according to your application needs by offering a range of gains to choose from. Additionally, some new capabilities added to these op amps are peak and trough detection and automatic input offset voltage calibration. Automatic input offset voltage calibration can be used to periodically null any op amp offset drift that may occur with time, temperature, or other factors. Lastly, you can cascade multiple op amp peripherals on the PIC-18 Q71 to make custom configurations or multi-op amp circuits such as differential amplifiers and cascaded inverting amplifiers if you need the output of the op amp to meet a specific requirement in your application. The Analog Peripheral Manager or APM is a new feature included on the PIC-18 Q71 family of microcontrollers that helps reduce overall power consumption by allowing analog peripherals such as the analog to digital converter, comparator, digital to analog converter, operational amplifier, fixed voltage reference, and others to be core independently turned on and turned off to save power. Typically, analog peripherals consume more power than digital peripherals even if they are idle not doing anything. This peripheral is ideal for low power applications that use analog sensors that require periodic measurement rather than sensors that need continuous monitoring. The APM allows users to specify custom time intervals in which analog modules will activate periodically to perform a desired functionality before deactivating and returning to a low power state. The APM gives you two different start times and two different end times, enabling the user to select which analog modules will start and end in each case providing flexibility to your application. Using the APM, you can periodically enable the ADC module to save power between samples. The ADC has separate analog and digital controls for additional power savings. 
Here's a simple example that demonstrates how the APM can be used when sampling signals using an op amp, ADC, and an FER. Initially, the op amp, ADC, and FER are disabled to minimize power consumption. For start event 1, you would enable the op amp, enable the analog control on the ADC peripheral, and lastly, enable the FER to prepare for analog signal measurement. The op amp will be used to amplify or buffer the analog signal that is going to be converted by the ADC. When the analog control on the ADC is enabled, the device will essentially prepare the ADC module for the conversion of the analog signal. An FER is commonly used to provide an internal stable voltage reference for the ADC module. After some time has passed since start event 1, the second start event will be used to enable the digital control of the ADC module, which essentially performs the ADC conversions and any computations set up. Using the APM end events, you can disable these peripherals to save power after the sequence has completed. The PIC18 Q71 family of microcontrollers has a combination of both 10-bit and 8-bit digital to analog converters or DACs. The DAC's bit resolution specifies how many selectable voltage levels are possible to generate. The 10-bit DAC provides 2 to the power of 10 or 1024 voltage levels while the 8-bit DAC provides 2 to the power of 8 or 256 voltage levels. Additionally, the DAC can be configured with different internal voltage reference options or external voltage sources if needed, and it can also provide internal connections to other peripherals such as the ADC and comparator. The DACs also offer buffered outputs. Integrated onto the PIC18 Q71 family of microcontrollers, two high-speed comparators are available with selectable speeds of up to 30 nanoseconds in high-speed mode and 150 nanoseconds in low-speed mode. A comparator compares the voltages applied to its two input pins and generates digital high or digital low outputs depending on which of the two inputs is higher. Several internal input voltage references are provided to the comparator, including the supply voltage of the device, FVR, and the output from the DAX. Additionally, the comparator offers an adjustable hysteresis function to provide signal filtering to the overall operation, similar to what a Schmidt trigger does. Typically, hysteresis is used when you have noisy signals causing unwanted behavior, and by enabling the hysteresis, it allows the comparator to generate stable switching behavior. The comparator's output can be internally tied to or programmed to do various functionalities such as triggering an interrupt, interfacing with other peripherals, starting an ADC conversion, and much more. Due to the PIC18 and Q71 having multiple comparators, you can create custom circuits such as a windowed comparator, which allows for a more precise comparison by determining whether the input falls between two user-defined reference voltages. If you are interested in learning more about Microchip's core independent analog peripherals or the PIC18 and Q71 family of microcontrollers, links for both will be provided in the description below. That is all for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more.